Hey everyone, it's Bree, and I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Bella Boulevard creative team. And I'm super excited to share this layout with y'all today. I am going to be working with the To The Moon collection. And I legit used, I think, every single pattern paper from the collection. And I really wanted to use some of my punches, so I pulled out quite uh, an assortment of my star punches in different sizes. So I had a large one, I had one that cuts like, or punches like five different shape or sizes of stars. And then I had like a little medium one and then a small one. So I just went through all the pattern papers and I cut, or I'm sorry, I punched out quite a few different stars. And of course I punched way too many, but I always like to have more than enough so I don't have to go back and punch more. So what I um, am doing here is I wanted to create a nice little subtle uh, mixed media background. So I took some white cardstock, it's the marshmallow, basil cardstock it's thick I didn't uh, prep it with any gesso and I'm just taking some shimmers paints from my stash and I am just creating like a little wavy background so I have a colorings and freshly squeezed a colorings and no yoking and a vibes and mustard seed so I'm just uh, I just sprayed it down on my glass mat and I'm just painting it on um, doing a little bit of blending added some water and um, I do add some splatters as well so I kind of just blend the two yellows together and then blend in the orange one and then I um, added some splatters at the end. Now my glass board, I know a couple people have asked me to ask me what it is. It's from the glass board studio and it's magnetic and it is fantastic. Um, I absolutely love it, especially the magnetic part because I can actually um, put down my papers and so they don't move and it's really great for ink blending. Okay, so here are the larger stars that I've um, pulled out and I've taken my pen off camera and I've just outlined each star in black ink, which is a different change for me because I usually use white gel pen and I thought the black would be a nice little pop. But I wanted a little something extra and I've been really obsessed with my stickles lately. So I went um, around each perimeter of each star with my stickles and I applied it on to make it super sparkly. So now I'm going to go ahead and arrange my stars along that little wavy line and I'm going to adhere them all down and I didn't pop any up on foam tape which is very surprising because you know me in foam tape I love popping everything up on foam but I kept it pretty flat and um, now I'm going to go ahead and start working on the smaller stars. So I arranged my larger stars and then now I'm going to go in and fill in the spaces in rainbow order uh, with the smaller stars. So that little section, the first section on the left um, in my little dish is where I put the ones from the punch that punches like five different shapes or, or sizes of the stars. So I'm able to fill in little spots with little stars and then with medium stars and all kinds of stuff. So it, so it looks nice and full. So um, this was a really fun way to add a lot of pattern onto your paper. And I love how it turned out. So there is all the sparkle with the stickles. I think it just adds a little something extra. And because it's stars and this collection is like, you know, space themed, um, it was perfect because it's sparkly. Okay, so the photos that I'm using as, are of my boys. They are in this really cool spaceship ride. We were stationed at Randolph, Randolph Air Force Base in San Antonio, and they had this like kid fair. And so I forgot I had these photos. And when I was looking through uh, what I wanted to use for this layout, I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. It's got to do with space. Um, so I printed two out and I'm gonna arrange them where they're kind of clustered together. And I added this um, pennant that says dude, which is so cute. And then for my title, I'm just going to uh, take the word play from the Chow Chipboard sticker sheet and I'm going to add on to it using the orange uh, Florence Alphas. So it'll say play all day. Now I am just going through the rest of that chipboard sticker sheet and pulling out um, stars and other maybe tinier little shapes that I could fit. I included that little alien head in green and I am embellishing um, tone on tone or like the color blocking method. I thought it was fun and I'm really glad that I chose like the yellow and orange background. That way everything really pops off of the page, you know, with those bright, bold colors. Um, so yeah, I like how that turned out and it really helped with the glitter stickles as well as that black pen by going over those large stars. So they, um, they have some definition and they don't really get lost. Uh, so yeah. All right. I added a little rocket ship and two little astronauts. And this is where I add on to my title, like I mentioned before. And then I'm just going through and adding some uh, liquid adhesive to some of those chipboard pieces. Cause if you are aware, or if you do know that chipboard 
tends to not stick um, through time and so it's always best to add some liquid adhesive to your chipboard pieces. So I'm going in with some gray thread. I also added some blue thread and some red behind some of those larger stars. And then I'm going to add in some of the stars from this really cute epoxy sticker sheet and as well as that fun little robot guy. I think he's so cute. And I think that wraps it up. I don't think I do anything else. I'm going to show you a up close look at this layout and you'll see that sparkle and all those stars and all of the gorgeous pattern. I love how this one turned out. It's so fun and perfect for my photos. So thank you so much for stopping by today. Here is a look at the final layout. I know it's super busy, but it's a lot of fun. And um, I'm so glad I had a chance to uh, document these photos. So I hope you have a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.